Hi, Zara Brookside here, and you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Miss Zaya Brixa. Oh, thank you. Thank Hello. you so much for having me. Thank you so much for joining thank me today. You. Yes. It's an awesome day for you as you're making your debut with Rise at Rise right. Set. So how are you feeling so far? Oh wow. When they messaged me, I was like in super shock. Really? I was like, right, it's like one of my biggest shows so far in America. So I was like really looking forward to it. That's amazing. And like the crowds are great, you know? <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> really good. And you actually had your debut match in 2015, First Class Wrestling. So yes. when you think back to that match, what runs through your mind? What's the first thing that comes to mind? Oh, well, the girl I wrestled, Lisa Fury, is like one of the best female wrestlers that England has to offer. She's been wrestling for so long. Like, I remember watching her as I was growing up. So, like, that match means a lot to me. But watching like back, I can see like how much I progressed in that time. It's really good. It's always when you look yeah. back at old footage, sometimes you're like cringing, but then you're like, yeah. you know what? No, I'm way better right. now. Because <laughs> my thing is, like, everyone starts somewhere. You know, like, everyone has that match that they look back on and they're like, ah. <laughs> Exactly, right? <laughs> well, of course, I introduced you as Miss Zaya Brookside. Yes. So when was the first time you were kind of coined that? Where did the whole Miss thing come from? You know what? I don't even know. That really? just happened. Like, Miss Zaya Brookside. Um, I don't know. It just <laughs> I just got caught that one time and it stuck. It just stuck. Yeah, it just stuck. And then right. everyone started calling me and I was yeah. like, oh, I'm a I miss now. <laughs> what are some other yeah. nicknames that you have? Whether ones now or ones you had growing up? Oh, growing up I had so many. Titch was one, because I'm so small. Oh, like okay. Titch, like yeah. small. Uh Zyber. My dad actually calls me Lulu. Or Luby Lou. Luby Lou. Luby Lou. But I had a few. Okay. I definitely had a few. Yeah. Well, you were the current IPW UK Women's yes, Champion. I am. And you're going to be defending that for the first time on American soil very soon. So yes. do you still get nervous whenever you have a title defense coming oh, up? Oh yeah, hundred percent. You know, like that title is like a huge thing, not just for me, but for like the company, for England itself. So like I already def defended it in Japan, yes. which was really fun. I've defended it in England, so now like America's the next one, and I hope to make it a world title. You know, that's what my plan is with that. Your photos from Japan looked amazing. Not just the ones oh. of you in the ring, but just you like having fun there. So do you just want to go back? I can just... Oh, I'm so ready. Yeah. Yeah, my next tour, which actually has just been confirmed, I'll be going back in July for a month. Oh, okay. So they made a huge deal about making me a stardom member, which was really nice and like accepting me into the no family. No big deal. <laughs> I got my tracksuit. <laughs> yes, right? As soon as you give me right. like, the black and white one, yes. it's like, you're official. Yeah, it's got gold on it. Oh, real? It's okay. Got, yeah, it's pretty Ooh. snazzy. I'll show you. Yeah, you please. can take a picture in it. Ooh, <laughs> now I'm excited. Yes! <laughs> The thing but, I love about you, aside from the in-ring wrestling, is the fact that you are such a determined person. Like you even sent something out the other day, and you said, if you really want it, fight for it and don't give up. So right. have you always been that way? Just you have a goal, you're going to get you it? You know what? Yeah. Like, yeah. everything I've ever done, I'm like, I'm not just going to do it. I'm going to do it, like, as but like as best that I can. Yeah. Because otherwise, what's the point? What's the point in doing something if you're going to, like, half-ass it? Yeah. So I'm like, wrestling now is like that next thing. Like, I'm going to do it. I've wrestled in five countries already, and it's only been three years. Insane. So I'm like really excited the now. The limit, really, right? right? When you think that way? Or even higher. Ooh. You know? What's, what's higher than this? Who yeah. knows? Okay. Who knows? Wow. But there's something out there, right? Ground <laughs> Yeah. I love it. Yeah. That's just my thing. Like, just follow your dreams. Like, there's going to be so many people. I always say, like, it's 100 to 1. A hundred people are going to tell you you can't do it and you'll have that one person, if you're lucky, that will tell you you can. Like when I was in school and they're like, what does like, obviously growing up my dad being a wrestler was like, well, it's fake, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all those people that told me I couldn't do it, I now look back and I was like 16, debuting, and now I've done so much. So I'm just like, yeah, I love it. I was in the same position because when I was about that same age, I decided to do this rather than right. the typical things that everyone else was doing. So right. people were like, you can't do it. This is a ridiculous dream. And I'm like, you know what? It almost just motivates you. You're like, screw it. I'm yeah, gonna now I'm going to do it you. just so I can do it. <laughs> do you have that? That was like something that really looked oh, fire yeah. in your ass. Because I'm like, yeah. well, you're going to tell me I can't do it. It's an outlook. I did it. Yeah. I'm still doing it. And I'm going to keep doing it until I physically can't do it anymore. It's like literally just the beginning for you. Just yeah, this is just in. the start. This is just the start. There's so much that I want to do. I want to travel like way more over the world like I might have a chance to go to China wow. which I'm looking forward to I've been messaged from like Italy so That's I'm like insane. stepping into all these new countries <laughs> I'm really excited <laughs> I have a couple of tweets from you here that I would like to hear a bit more about oh so the first one you said I never know what to do with days off I always end up taking a nap 
and you had a little cry face and you yeah. said the worst it's so bad <laughs> i feel so lazy because <laughs> i'm like, like every day off right every day off i end up yeah. taking a nap because like i think because i'm so hectic when i'm on mm-hmm. that like i'm resting i'm training i'm going to the gym i'm doing everything i can that when I have a day off, I'm like, what do I do with myself? And people are like, you gotta rest. And I was going to mid breath in Japan every single day to the point like one of the girls was like, Zai, you need to take a day off. Cause I was training in the dojo as well as that. Yeah. And my body was just like, hated me for it. So she's like, take a day off. And then I just end up feeling like really lethargic. <laughs> like I've got no energy on my days off at all. It's ridiculous. Maybe it's, that's your body telling you. Like, yeah, my body's like, rest. no, yeah. My body's like, don't rest. <laughs> It's bad for you. Right? And then the exactly, other, right? the other dude that I have is he said after a trip to the salon and bleaching a test strip of my hair, absolutely none of the pink shifted. I think it's a sign. Pink is my oh color. My God. I was in that salon for so long. I like, so I went in and I was like, this is my new plan. I'm gonna because my hair used to be like silvery with blue tint in it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I want to go back to that, but maybe add a little bit more blue, obviously for the new gear. And then, so she cuts a section out, she bleaches it, she like washes my hair and fixes it up in the time. And we go back to the hair, it had, didn't move. It was exactly the same color. And I'm like, what like percentage peroxide did you use? And she's like, 12%. I'm like, oh no, I'm stuck with it. But I was like, you know what, let's just keep it. Yeah. Cause like everyone knows like now, Zaya Brookside has bright pink crazy hair. And then in Japan, it's like anime character. Yeah, it's true. So I was like, I'm just gonna keep it, see how long it goes. It's okay. like snapping off and my hair hates me, but, but I like it. It's, I feel like it's very me. Yeah. Like I'm very it's like too. bubbly and crazy. So I was like, you know what, I may as well just keep the bubbly hair. Is that the color you always wanted? Like I know a lot of people when they're oh, younger, they're like, oh, I really just want to have blue hair or? No, it was an accident. So the first, wait, the first time I was pink was like 2015. Okay. So it was like blonde with like pink streaks through it. And then I was out here in Florida and I was like, you know what? I'm going to dye my hair bright pink. So I dyed it bright pink and then I kept it for like a month. I didn't even keep it for a long time. But then I bleached it all out and went to that silver bluey color. And then I went to the hairdressers to get hair extensions put in. And as they dyed it, it was like going pink. And I said to the woman, I'm like, this isn't right. That's strange. And she was like, no, it goes pink and then it goes gray. I was like, no, I've been gray for a while. Like it goes purple and then it goes gray. So then they like wash it out and my hair's pink. So then they try and bleach it again. And I'm like, my head was burning because she had already bleached oh, it. Yeah. And I was like, we're just gonna have to stay pink. And then ever since then, it just stayed. I was like, I'm just gonna have to keep the pink now. A happy accident? Right? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, here on the site, we also interview musicians, not just wrestlers. So if you could hang out with a band or artist for a day, who would that be? Oh, my God. Avril Lavigne for an artist, or if it was a band, Nickelback. Okay. Yeah, that's my two. Like, I can remember watching Avril Lavigne when I was, like, maybe nine. It was, like, the first concert my mom took me to. And I was, like, this big Avril Lavigne, like, punk, (laughs) punk, rock, pop kind of thing. I loved it. And now, like, I still follow her on social media. (laughs) (laughs) I love her to bits. Really? Yeah, she okay. was like my role model growing up. Yeah, really I totally was. went through an Avril phase. I, think I, like I feel like every girl did. did. Yeah, yeah, every single girl did. And you know what? I think half the guys did too. <laughs> they just don't want to admit it. Everyone needs everyone a little bit did. of Skater Boy in their oh, life, right? right? Oh my gosh. She with, has great new songs now too, by the way. Okay, was yeah. Skater Boy with like the eight? Like yeah, those sk- skate. Yeah. Man, I remember those days. <laughs> yes. It's great. She's so like she's so out there like she is herself and I feel like that's what every wrestler needs and that's what like every girl needs growing up like just be yourself do you and just love yourself for who you are I think that's what it needed that's wonderful yeah that's really cute right (laughs) (laughs) yeah just to wrap things up I do want to leave it with all of the fans who are going to be viewing is there anything you want to say to all of them oh thank you like for me to be wrestling like I'm 19 now which not everyone knows, I'm 19. It's been like this massive hoo-ha all over social media how old I am. So there it goes. There you go. <laughs> there we go. But three years in wrestling, like I wouldn't have been able to do it without the wrestlers backstage helping me out. Like Kaylee Ray, I'd say, is like one of my trainers. You know, like I had so many matches with her when I first started. We're now up to like 30 matches together. Wow. 30 single matches that's together. Crazy. Yeah, in three years, that's insane. But like without the fans too like what would it be you know like you can't put on a show with no one watching you know like you can't get that adrenaline rush without the fans there behind you and keeping you up there like it's so great to see all the fans out there there's actually a guy out there right now with my shirt on and i was like oh thank you (laughs) that's amazing 
amazing. Yeah, because I was so far from home and there's I people just like, to say. there's fans in America that like want to see me and like they've come over and they're like, I'm so glad to finally meet you. I'm like, this is so fun. Like, <laughs> I love it. There was another guy out there that I was at bar wrestling last year. So I made my debut there. It was like my first match in America. And there was this, I think it was a woman there, but she got me to film this little video for this guy because he couldn't make it. He was in hospital at the time. So he just told me that and it was like, you made my day. Like, that's something I really needed. And I'm like, you know what? That's really nice to hear. So nice. Like, just a message from like someone that you like to watch can like really change your life. So I'm like, that's what I want to be. I want to be like that person that people can look up to or talk to. And I really love it. The fans are great. The fans are like the best part of wrestling, 100%. <laughs> Can you imagine it without them, just like hearing all the grunting in the ring, how weird that would be? That would be so weird. That'd be very strange. That'd be so weird to just wrestle without the fans there. That'd be so but weird. But luckily, you have lots of fans, so that yeah, is not the case. Do. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, what would you do? Like, <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. Oh no, thank you so much for having me, I've loved my it. Pleasure. Thank you. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at alishatoot.com for all exclusive interviews and features. So follow her. Follow her. <laughs>